please stand for a moment of silence and the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, welcome to PMN on Parkland TV. It's Tuesday, October 18th, day six, and an A schedule. I'm Jenna Leonsi. And I'm Bell Moses. The Interpreters Club will meet with Mrs. Venata tomorrow, Thursday, October 19th, in B123, immediately after school. Please bring your script and be ready to sign your part. Seniors, today is your last day to order your cap and gown. You can turn in your order forms at all lunches outside the cafeteria. Here is now Samantha McMore giving you all the survival needs with Sam's School Survival Guide. Hey guys, welcome to my new show, Sam's School Survival Guide, where every other week I'm going to bring you tips and tricks on how to make your high school life just a little bit easier. Today's topic is the snacks of Parkland. There are three main snacks everyone loves to enjoy, which is chips, water, and ice cream. But there are also three main spots that you can buy these snacks. The cafe, the vending machine, and the school store. Today we're going to find out which of these places has the lowest price. Let's go. First, the cafe, the main food hub here at Parkland High School. Water costs $1, chips cost 50 cents, and depending on what kind of ice cream you get, it can range anywhere from 75 cents to a dollar. On to the next one. Next, the vending machines. Now, you can only find vending machines that sell food in the cafeteria, but you can find vending machines that sell water in the A-Wing and down by the gym. So chips for vending machines cost $1.25, and water costs $1.50. For ice cream, it costs anywhere from $1 to $1.25, so far making it the most expensive place to buy food and drink in the cafeteria. And finally, the school store, where you can buy anything from gum to t-shirts. Here, water costs 50 cents, and so do the chips, making the school store the cheapest spot to buy water and tying with the cafe for chips. Although the school store is the priciest spot for ice cream, a costly $2, they actually sell Yo Fresh frozen yogurt, and with the discount that they give on Fridays, making it cost $1.50, and the crazy selection of flavors that they have, it's worth the extra penny. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for joining me on Sam's School Survival Guide. I'll see you next time. Two. Which one? Geo Club will have a meeting today after school in room B219. We will have a follow-up meeting tomorrow morning at 7.15 in B122. Free winter sports physicals will be held here at Parkland High School in the cafeteria on Saturday, October 21st. Girls 8 to 9.30 a.m. and boys 9.30 to 11 a.m. Free impact tests will also be in the high school library this Saturday, October 21st from 8 to 10.30 a.m. The first National History Day Club meeting will be on November 11th at 3 o'clock in D212. All interested students from all grades should attend. Attention all juniors and seniors, the fall blood drive is here. With the recent impact of Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Nate, the Red Cross could really use your help. If you are 17 years old and want to save lives, sign up now. The drive will take place on Thursday, October 26th in the Auxiliary Gym from 8 to 1 p.m. Sign-up sheets are available in, in front of the cafeteria during all lunches in room D119. Anyone interested in Ski and Snowboard Club that was unable to attend the meeting may still pick up an informational packet with Mr. Gaiman in A128. Students who are being inducted into the National English Honor Society should report to the auditorium during third period today for an induction rehearsal. In sports, in sports news, congratulations to the boys and girls soccer teams for making it to the EPC finals this Thursday. Also, congratulations to Brooke Shutter, who was named EPC League MVP. Congratulations to Parkland Girls Cross Country for winning EPC championship. Also to Riley Williamson, who won the EPC Cross Country meet yesterday with 16 minutes and 41 seconds. For anyone who doesn't know the course, it is a 5K or around 3.2 3 miles. 
who was also named EPC MVP for Boys Cross Country. Don't forget to congratulate our athletes today if you see them today. Thanks for watching PN Men on Parkland TV. I'm Belle Moses. And I'm Jenna Lanzi. Have a great day. Please stand for a moment of...